What's going on today guys? Uh, you join me in the Mini today on the way to a track evening event with the South East Mini Owners Group. Um, oh, I'm following Kirk from 66 up here. Um, bit of an impromptu decision, this was last minute planned. Um, but looking forward to it. Um, bit nervous because I had two baffles in my exhaust. Um, just driving up here, one of the baffles has fallen out um, and the car's now significantly louder. I really hope that the exhaust is gonna pass the decibel readings. Um, if not, I'm not too sure what, what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it though. Um, but yeah, looking for uh, a good good test the day out today. Um, I've just got a GoPro as well, so there'll be a lot of um, like interior shots, some exterior as well, like facing outwards. Uh, not a lot of talking um, and involvement, but hope you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's see what uh, the budget for the track build is like on track. Right, we're in the mini. Um, tragedies happened. We are being towed home. Um, that's Matty in the BMW. Um, just because went round first bend and I don't know exactly how happened or whatever. Uh, a couple of days ago I checked the oil, everything was fine. Pre-track checks. Pre-track checks. Um, and yeah, um, I've now got no oil, nothing. Uh, bottom end has deleted itself. Jesus. Um, yeah, bottom end's deleted itself, which is great, just what you want. Um, and yeah, we're going to get it back to the unit um, and start a rebuild on this old game. Tomorrow after work, we're going to take the sump off, inspect the bottom end, um, and take it from there. Hopefully it's salvageable bottom end wise. If not, uh, we'll be looking at a new lump. So this is where the support from you guys, um, subscribing, sharing, liking, following, do whatever you've got to do to help me get this back on the uh, on the road. What you're about to see is me and Kirkham strip down the engine or at least take the sump off uh, to inspect the bottom end. Um, hopefully, well, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be that bad and I could take the crank out and get it resurfaced, put some bigger bearings in there. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. You'll see now. I'll put that in. <laughs> All right, so we're doing now, draining the oil. Draining the oil, uh, seeing what comes out of it. Um, hopefully, hopefully not a lot of metal. But to be fair, I'm expecting some metal. Oil is gonna be very cold, so we're gonna let it loop out for a little while. Oh yeah, baby. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Not looking too bad. Not yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, things keep plopping. Probably shards of metal. That's what we do now. Um, well, what, the last bits of engine goop come out. Just gonna detach the dog bone mount um, and then get round to removing the aircon compressor. And then once that's removed, we'll focus on getting rid of all the sump bolts and drop it like it's hot. Um, <laughs> just Look on the bright side, mate. You've got anti-corrosion now, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. Mate. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, <clears throat> built in. Just anti-rust. Anti-engine as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not like an R53 Mini to leak oil, is it? No. That's very rare. Yeah. Never heard of that before. I think yours is the only one I've seen that doesn't. Mine does. Where? Uh, if I like leave it overnight um, in the garage, yeah, it does like leave a few small oh, drops does. on the floor. Have you seen where uh, it's coming from? Nothing. Um, yeah. Quite I'm coming a... from the filter gasket. Yeah, I am getting a bit on the filter gasket, and there's a little bit somewhere. I'm getting over here somewhere, but yeah. Apparently, rear main are quite common. Yeah, yeah. So, it could be that. Everything's common on these. 
That's the problem. Yeah. Although mine's been quite reliable, touch wood. Yeah. Yeah, it has, to be fair. You haven't got an abused one. No. But, you know. Yeah. It's all fun and games, mate. Adds to the character. Fun and games till the fat lady sings. Or in this case. Uh, what? Is that the same? It's, no, it's something about coming home until the fat lady sings, isn't it? I don't know, mate. I've never heard it's all fun and games until the fat lady sings. <laughs> Key words oh, up. With the magic of editing, we'll have this bumper off. In the magic of editing and with cable ties. Right, so there's the front bumper gone. Now it's just the case to get the crash bars off, the crash bar, and a series of, I would say, 15 mil sockets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do uh, the magic of editing again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah, good, yeah. Nice. Let's skip this bit. You doing now, big man? Uh, right now, I am just getting into a crevice to undo the two thirteen mils that hold the auxiliary. Uh, sorry, the aircon pump to the actual um, block. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. Probably not. But there's one. And this one's a bit better to see, to be fair. There's the second. Up she goes. I mean, promising things. I still can't see any hole holes in the block, so. Yet. Yet. Have you got another belt? No, I can get one now. Well, I mean, your engine's blown anyway, so who cares? Uh, yeah. So, if you want your uh, belt removed. And your aircon. That's one way of doing it. That's all she wrote. Did your, oh. air, did your aircon work? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Should do an aircon delete. Yeah. To be fair, I've got a mate that I work with. He stripped one of them pumps apart. And... Just kept the pulley on it. I don't know how exactly he done it. Um, I think you just, get a, just buy a short belt. You can buy short ones that have pulley delete. Yeah. Oh, what? So you just buy a belt. It doesn't need to go around that, I believe. Don't hold me to that. I thought... Uh, I'm sure. Is it orange? I thought they, um, they made the delete bracket that had a pulley on it to... Oh, maybe. Um, maybe, maybe you're right. So, I mean, I can't imagine that. That would actually be a lot of weight saved. Yeah, I need the weight. You need it with the aircon. Mm. I actually get sweaty. Oh no, I mean not. I need the weight saved. Oh right, yeah. I mean, if you go full race car, then yeah, just get rid of it. <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, fucking oil in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh, moist. I reckon a sump gasket was in in dire need of replacing. You think you better blow out on this? Oh no, because it's probably, yeah. What are you on about? I don't know. Shavings. Um, Some metal. Oh, mm. I'm getting dripped on. Can't yeah, that scared. happens, that does. What is that? Oh, some sort of metal. That. That's quite thin, so I'd say that's part of a bearing. Yeah. That's stuck. That's all stuck. Mm. Just what the doctor ordered. You got your inspection lamp. Oh. Da da da. Put. Right. Right. 
grab each con rod and jiggle. Yeah, jiggle, jiggle. So, oh, numero uno. Kaput. Yep. Number two, which I wagered on, is okay. Ah! <laughs> Kaput. Yep. Okay. Oh, so two out so of four ain't bad. Two out of four. Fifty percent knackered. Now, is there a bolt we can rotate that on? Yeah, of course there is. Yeah. So I'll pull down or bring down cylinder one with cylinder four. Yep. Because they work in parallel together. Yep. Whip off the uh, journal or the bottom part of the bearing. What's and this? see scorage. Is that metal in your pickup? That's a lot of metal in your pickup. Yeah. Oh, breath. Yeah, that's definitely part of a bearing. <laughs> Didn't need that, did you? No, weight reduction might have told you this. You're about big boys, we're going about five guys and the sofa. Oh no, oh shit. No, I was getting confused. So in Folkestone, there's a place called Big Boys. Yeah. That was exactly the same as Five Guys. Right. And I had that in my head because me and a couple of mates, we used to go there every Thursday and it was £10 for a burger and chips with a beer. They gone bust? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What'd you think for £10? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was Good job I moved that bucket of oil. Right, so that's... Oh my Lord. Uh, so, engine. Oh, look, at, look how thin that is. So what you shouldn't be able to do with these, you can see there, what you shouldn't be able to do with these is bend it, flex it like that. You can see there. That is knackered. You can see there. Nice clean crack down there. I mean, look there, you can just bend that over onto itself. God. That's truly gone, mate. That one's a bit... No, 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 it's any better. It? <laughs> <laughs> Try to soften the blow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to say it's better, but it's not. Wow. Okay, let's look at number four then. I'm surprised at that. Oh, are you? I'm not. I know. It's, you know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Mm. So we'll do a comparison. I'll say what they should look like, or what they did look like. Oh my lord, look at that difference. Jeez, that is knackered. Mm. No bueno. Engine kaput, sorry mate. So, let's get a new engine. I think that might be your best decision right now. Yeah. I mean, uh, to be fair, it's only... Uh, or do I just waste 50 quid and see if I can get away with bearing? No. It's only 50 quid. I would... No, look at that. No, no, that's not good. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you screwed that one up, mate. Sorry. Housekeeping. So, um, what time does the scrapyard come in to collect your car? Um, well, they're closed now. Uh, but if I ring them first thing, I reckon... <laughs> lunchtime? I think we could probably get 100 or something quid for this. Yeah, scrap's gone down. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't think the scrapyard even wants it, to be fair. <laughs> Yeah, they'll probably say no. <laughs> Did you find this at the scrap yard? Um, no, actually. No. I, I beat the scrap man to the car. That's that's how I got it. Oh, maybe you should just let him take it. Maybe I should have. But yeah, I mean that one's. Hmm, it's not great. It's not great. That one. Do we look at number two and three? Might as well. You might as well, mate. Oh, oh. Go. Right. So engine's done. Um, completely toast. The crankshaft is just beyond repair. It's not even worth taking the crankshaft out and getting it ground down and putting bigger bearings in. Where I'm going to take it from now is probably remove the engine with another engine in it, same engine, but get the cylinder head from the old engine, rebuilt, more polished, maybe bigger cam, stronger springs, um, and hopefully push for a bit of extra power. That's not the main goal. The main goal is to get the car back up and running first. So, initial port call is by getting a bigger 
um, another engine that's actually running um, and just doing a complete overhaul of everything on the car that he's doing. So it's probably not likely there's going to be track days or days soon. It's just now going to be a process of rebuilding the car to its former glory. Um, so yeah, a bit of a bit of a downside to my track day yesterday. Um, three laps was clearly too much for a 20, 22, 21 year old car, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, now just got to, got to hope and pray you guys follow along for the rebuild of the initial build. <laughs> It's depressing. <laughs> so make sure to follow and subscribe, and hopefully we'll have something back up and running in. I want to say max a month. I want it back up and running in a month, but not completed in a month. Um, so there's something to look forward to. Just make sure to like, subscribe, support, do everything you've got to do, uh, just to show me that you care. <laughs> so there we go. Um, bit of a bit of a turn on the video. Some crap on the camera. So there we go, a bit of a turn on the video and the goal for that car. Um, unfortunately, things happen. It is what it is. Um, I can't thank Matty, James and well, Kirkham um, and his wife being there for, for the emotional support and the constant laughter um, after that all happened. So we're going to continue, get it all done. And hopefully you guys stick around for the rebuild because it's certainly going to be one that you don't really want to miss out on. on.